So that was technique number three, and now we are into technique number four, and this is an interesting uh, chemistry because it utilizes, it combines both TSA technique, what we talked about before, and non-TSA technique, and that's uh, going to be like a sequential procedure. Here is how it works. We know that TSA technique is incredibly sensitive. It means that, for example, we can use 200 less concentrated primary antibody and detect with TSA. Uh, if we use in a conventional IHC 200, uh, 200 times diluted primary antibody from the, you know, its optimal concentration, our, our secondary antibody will not recognize it. They will not see it. Sensitivity will not be will not be adequate, and will pretty much get no stain. And knowing this uh, phenomenon, we can now combine both TSA and non-TSA technique. Here's how it works. First, we incubate tissue section with the primary antibody diluted so much that it cannot be detected with the uh, secondary antibody in a conventional IHC. Okay, and then we do TSA technique here. Okay, we got staining, activation of tyramide fluorescent conjugate by HRP. Tyramide will bind to phenol groups in tyrosine and proteins and we'll get our signal. Second uh, phase, we are going to incubate the same tissue section with the primary antibody, also rabbit, from the same host species, but in a normal concentration, normal, optimal working dilution, which can be picked up and detected using the uh, secondary antibody, like here. Uh, there, there probably cross-reaction of the secondary antibody here with this primary antibodies, but because the concentration of primary antibody is so low, we will not be seeing the signal or, you know, binding of this secondary antibody to primary antibody will not generate any visual signal. It will only generate the signal uh, applicable to this primary antibody using a high concentration. That's how both techniques can be combined together. And believe it or not, this technique is not new. It's been reported many, many years ago. And actually, this is in, uh, I will show you the screenshot of the paper published in 1996. So the optimal dilution here is, again, go over this technique. Optimal dilution of primary antibodies for detection by TSA is 100 to 200-fold more dilute than in standard IHC protocols. All these high dilutions, okay, at these high dilutions, most primary antibodies are undetectable by conventional fluorophore conjugated secondary antibodies. And two color is performed by using first TSA to detect first highly diluted primary antibody and uh, fluorophore conjugated secondary antibodies to detect second primary antibody at their normal dilution. Pros, this technique, it's a very simple protocol. No need to strip primary antibodies away like we've done with uh, our TSA technique talked about earlier, and can be used for both IHC and ICC, so because there are no treatments to cells and tissues. Uh, cons to the procedure, limited to two antigen detections. Only two antigens can be detected, you've seen it here, and and requires a preliminary testing of optimal dilution of primary antibodies to make sure in TSA phase we are using the primary antibodies that will not be detected by second uh, cycle secondary antibodies. So now that's how all these four techniques work and that's um, uh, that's a paper I was I mentioned to you. It's been published in 1996, and uh, a presentation has been uh, made at the uh, meeting of the Histochemical Society meeting, uh, and again can be used can be easily used uh, to do this two color stain. To view the full video of this and all of our other webinars for bioscientists at the bench, please visit bitesizebio.com/webinars.